What's going on everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building. And just recently on Twitter, a user named OP Mortal Kombat asked Ed Boon, why are the 3D era characters so scarce in the most recent games? Ed Boon responded, that is something we will soon fix. So what does this mean? At this point, we know the timeline has been reset. A lot of those characters are dead, so why not bring them back? And that's what it looks like they are gonna do. So let's go through those 3D era characters and see which characters we should see again and which one should probably stay dead. Before we start, make sure you uppercut that subscribe button and let's talk about it. Welcome back to the lab. So today, what we're gonna do is take every character that debuted in the 3D era and try to decide if they should be in Mortal Kombat 12 or maybe we should never see them again. Let's jump in and get started with who I would say is the greatest character to debut in a 3D Mortal Kombat game. And it speaks for itself because he has been in the most Mortal Kombat games since Mortal Kombat 4. That 3D character is none other than Quan Chi. I can't believe they left Quan Chi out of Mortal Kombat 11. That was just crazy because I'd say at this point he is one of your main characters, just like Scorpion, Sub Zero. Hell, he killed Liu Kang. Come on. We got Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat 11, but we did not get Quan Chi. It's time for us to make up for it and let's get Quan Chi back in Mortal Kombat 12. Next up, we're going to take this thing in alphabetical order, y'all. Next up, we got Ashra. Ashra debuted in Mortal Kombat Deception. Now, she looks like a good guy, right? She looks like a kind of like Raiden, like a god type character, but she's actually a demon, but she's also a demon hunter, which is kind of weird. So I think Ashra right now, she looks too much like Raiden to be nothing like Raiden. So uh, not really a big fan. Not a big fan of Ashra. If she does come back, they would really have to rework her character because right now, this design just isn't going to work for me. But either way, I would say we don't need Ashra in Mortal Kombat 12. So our first character we're getting rid of is Ashra. Next up, we have Blaze. Blaze, um, rumor has it Blaze was in Mortal Kombat 1 or 2 in the, uh, in the pit stage. Where they were fighting, he was like in the background fighting Liu Kang. But he was turned into a boss for Mortal Kombat Armageddon. And I don't think he's a great boss. You think about the um, Shao Kahn. You think about the... Even Shang Tsung. Like when he was a boss back then. You have your mini bosses like Goro and Onaga. All great bosses. Blaze, I don't see as a great boss. He was even in uh, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, but he was like a smaller version of him. But they turned him into this thing, made him a big boss. I would never bought it. So as a playable character, I would say no. As a boss character, I would say no. We need to get Blaze up out of here. Uninspired designs. He doesn't belong to, uh, in Mortal Kombat 12. Next up, we got another character who has appeared in multiple games. Since he debuted in Mortal Kombat Daily Alliance, we got Boraicho. Now, Boraicho, I think he's uh, more of a goofy character. Kind of like some comedic relief. But do we need to waste a character spot with Boraicho? Sure, he can come back in the future, but I think he was just in Mortal Kombat X from what I remember. We don't need him in Mortal Kombat 12. So I would also say no Boraicho. Sorry, Baracha. I don't think he should be. I don't think he should return. Next up, we have Diagon. Diagon. This guy is the half brother of Rain. These days, Rain has a beautiful character design. Yeah, every game, every game we see Rain, he has a nice prince, you know, rollout character design. Just looks great. Diagon is just an old man who's missing the eye i think he has a terrible character design very uninspired just a bald dude an old bald dude he maybe should have had a mask on like shao khan that would have helped because shao khan doesn't look great without his mask on but you throw that mask on perfect presentation in the character with Dagon, we don't have that now he is like a half god half man something like that again with him being range brother that's cool half brother it's cool but 
I don't want to see this character return because I think he's very uninteresting, uninspired, uninspired design. If he does return, they need to totally revamp him. But I would say just leave it alone. We have no Diagon in Mortal Kombat 12. Next up, man, this is <laughs> not looking good so far for our 3D guys. We got Dairu. Now, come on, y'all. Y'all cannot blame me. Dairu, look at the guy. He's not, he, this was a, this was the problem with a lot of the 3D era guys. Uh, you look at what we got with the Super Nintendo characters. Great character models. Yeah, a lot of the um, ninjas were color swatches, but you even had Kung Lao. You had uh, Shiva, who was kind of like a Goro thing, but she looks good. You have um, Sonya. I mean, kind of just like a basic woman, but, I mean, her character design is good. Yeah, you got the strikers to go along with all of these, but Dairu, just a terrible design. <laughs> they said he was supposed to be in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, but he didn't make the cut. I wonder why. I also say he should not make the cut in Mortal Kombat 12. Let's get Dairu up out of here. All right, so next up on our list, we got another one. We have Darius. Now, this is a tough one. Because Darius, he seems like that character that they put in the game where they're like, you know what? We got to get a black guy in here. And that's what we got with Darius. Darius actually says to Shujinko, I look forward to resisting arrest. Darius is a criminal. Not a criminal. Darius is a terrorist. That's out. We got to get Darius up out of here. We don't need to see a character like Darius anymore. He likes to excite riots. Sounds like a lot of stereotypes for a specific type of person. Yeah. And his character design, which I kind of like the suit. Looks like it'll be a good Halloween costume, but he's just a bald dude. I don't got nothing against bald people, y'all, but I think we could have done better with this design. We got to get Darius up out of here, y'all. So Darius, meh, sorry. Y'all, we only saved Quan Chi so far. We got to get better. We got to get a better track record here. Let's go up to the next one. We have Dramen. Another demon character. <sighs> y'all, this is tough. Because, again, we're going, in, uh, we're going in alphabetical order here. But these have all just been bad characters. You know, I'm ready to say some positive stuff, but y'all got to agree with me. Come on. Draman is not a good character. He's just uh, look maybe like a burnt guy with a mask on. It's out for Draman, man. We can't have Draman in Mortal Kombat 12. I don't even think a character redesign would save this dude. Unless you put a full bodysuit on him and give him a cooler mask, maybe. But I don't think so. Just lazy, uninspired character, man. We got to get Draman up out of here. So, Draman, mm-mm, no Draman. Next up, we got a good character, actually. We have a good character in Frost. Now, we had Frost in Mortal Kombat 11. I don't think we need to use a character spot for Frost again because we got Sub-Zero. We don't need two Ice characters who pretty much do the same thing in, the, uh, in one game. So, while Frost is... One of the best, I'd say top three, 3D characters that we've seen in Mortal, uh, Mortal Kombat. I think it's time to give somebody else a chance, Frost. Frost is a wobbler. It can go either way. Again, I like Frost. I wouldn't be mad if she was included, but I think it's time we get some more characters in Mortal Kombat 12. And we really shouldn't use up a spot for Frost if we have a limited amount of characters we can use. Maybe DLC. DLC would be fine, but not base roster. Next up. Fujin. So I said before, Fujin should not be in Mortal Kombat 12, and I got a lot of flack for it. <laughs> we got a lot of Fujin fans out there, and to be honest with you, he does have a, a good character design. Ever since Mortal Kombat uh, 11, where he came back, I do like his character design, so if we're set to see more of these 3D characters come back, I wouldn't mind seeing Fujin in Mortal Kombat 11. He was D uh, 12, excuse me. He was DLC in Mortal Kombat 11. So, hey, uh, we, we picked up his story. So why not keep it going? I wouldn't mind seeing Fujin in Mortal Kombat 12 because uh, why not get more familiar with the character? Next up, I say this guy is number two 
when it comes to the best characters introduced in the 3D Mortal Kombat era. So yes, Havoc should absolutely come back. Great character design. I love to see where they would go with his story. Think about the fatalities he had. The fatalities were banging as well. So Havoc should have been back in a Mortal Kombat game, but Mortal Kombat 12 is absolutely the time for them to reintroduce Havoc. So let's see Havoc again. Next up is another one I got a lot of flack for. And the bad thing about this one is I kind of still uh, stand in the same place where I stood before. Hotaru. I'm not a fan of Hotaru's character design at all. We look at his face. He looks just like Raiden looked in um, Deadly Alliance or Deception. He looks just like Raiden did. Uh, he looks just like Fujin does now. So if they were to bring Hotaru back, he needs a character redesign. Bad. Another thing about um, Hotaru, he's a Fireflies guy? Yeah, Fireflies. I would be open to seeing Hotaru back if they completely redid his character. Got to get rid of this armor stuff because it just looks like a Cyrax or Scorpion type armor set. Uh, with it being yellow again, it's too, too in line with some of the other characters. We got to get rid of this armor. We got to... Do something with his face and his hair. Of course, they would. They use like real actors now, so you know they do something better with his face. But again, the hair is just like Fujin and Raiden. So, well, Raiden in the games where they actually show us hair. So yeah, we gotta get um, Havoc up out of here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I would, I would be open to seeing Havoc back. In fact, I would, I would love to see a redesign of Havoc. I'm gonna go with that. So yes, not Havoc. <laughs> Yes, we need to get Havoc back, but y'all excuse me. I got a cold. I'm getting over it. So, um, I would love to see Hotaru back if they redesign him. So, yeah, I'm not going to put the X on Hotaru. Let's put a pin in Hotaru. As long as he's redesigned, let's get him back in there. Next up, we have another one of my favorite characters that y'all seem to hate for whatever reason. And apparently, uh, Netherrealm hates him too because... In Aaron Black's intro, he throws a bag and this guy has this guy's head just rolls out. Next up, we got Su Hao. Su Hao, I think, could be a great character. You think look at look at Su Hao as a character. So he doesn't have a heart. Su, his heart's gone. This red thing he has on his chest is his heart. This keeps him alive and it makes him more powerful. So he's like a big brute character. You think of like characters like Ferator, how he had he was kind of like a grappler type character, or Solomon Grundy from Injustice One, great grappling character, maybe the best of all time. I think you can bring Hotaru back, maybe spruce up his design a little bit, but definitely keep the thing around his chest, making that his heart and put some story behind that. He had one of the best fatalities ever. Ever. He shot that beam out his chest, pretty much put a hole in the opponent's midsection, broke it off, and then they like crawled back where he went back and stomped on them. Just crazy, crazy, nasty fatality. I'm in if they want to bring Hotaru back. Sure, maybe spruce up his design. Maybe don't make him look like Hitler. But let's get him back. Let's get Hotaru back in the running. Probably won't ever happen. But again, if it did, I wouldn't be mad at it. Next up, we got a character, again, that we should probably never see. We got Jarek. Jarek was Kano. Like, hey, we don't want to use Kano again. We want to use a new character. But I got a good idea. Let's make that new character Kano. So, yeah, pretty much just a Kano reskin. He had Kano's fatalities, Kano's little roll ball move. He was just a Kano clone. We don't need to see Jarek anymore unless he has a story maybe where it's like Kano turned on him, Kano left him abandoned. So, you know, they give him a better character design, make it where he still probably does some of Kano moves, but his own versions of them. Showing that he made it his own, like, and now he's after Kano. He, maybe he joins the Red Dragon clan. Wait, is Kano Black Dragon or Red Dragon? I think Kano's Black Dragon. So put him on the other clan, you know, because Ed Boon did say we may see that clan again. And he's saying that we'll see some of these 3D characters again. So that's what he's referring to. So Suhao has a chance. 
So I still has a chance. But I say base level for what it is, for what Jarek was, don't bring Jarek back. Unless you're really going to do something different with his character. Next up, we got an interesting character here. We have an interesting character. I don't like this design on him. So, no. They got to get this design off of him. But we can do something with Kai. He is a Shaolin monk in the likes of Liu Kang and uh, Kung Lao. So, if you're going to put Kai back in the game, tie him with those two characters. And let's see what they can do with the story. In the story with a black guy with Liu Kang and um, Kung Lao. Now, again, representation is important these days. Sometimes a lot of these companies reach with it where it's not called for. But in this case, I think it would work fine because this is an old character that was a Shaolin monk. They can revive him and they don't have to make up the corny black guy that they always try to put in these games. You know, we can get a, we can get a good a good character that can move that we can move forward with. So I think Kai would have potential if they did re remake his character. So I'm going to say let's bring Kai back and let's do something interesting in the story with him. Next up, we have another Kano recruit in Kara. I don't like it. I don't like Kara's design for one. For two, it's really close to Scarlet. Which Scarlet is another one I got a lot of feedback about. So, I mean, if everybody loves Scarlet and they want to keep Scarlet in the games, we don't need Kara because they are they pretty much look like the same character. If you were to redo her character, I mean, she still has the red hair. That's kind of like her signature thing there. So, what are you going to change her hair black? Is she still Kara at that point? So, I think Kara is fine not being in Mortal Kombat. So let's just keep Kara out of it. And if we're going to stick with Scarlet, let's just stick with Scarlet. Next up after Kara, we have Ken Masters. King Cobra. Now, Cobra, when they announced Cobra, I was excited about the character. I was like, oh, that's cool. They're going to do something like Ken in Mortal Kombat. You know, of course, you can't get Ken in Mortal Kombat. So I guess they're going to make this guy play like Ken. And that wasn't the case. This was just really an uninspired, unmotivated, just a character. So let's make him look like Ken Masters, but it kind of stops there. He uh, really wants to be on Kano's team. He's a martial artist. And that's it. Not really a memorable character at all. So they could do something good. These days with Cobra, they could really rebuild his character and make him nice. For one, Netherrealm is um, they're top, top notch. When it comes to graphics and everything, they make great character models now. So them remaking this character model, even in today's age, they need to make his face younger. But I think they could make a lot work with this character. But I think you could do a lot better with the new character. So Cobra didn't work. We don't need Cobra in Mortal Kombat 12. So let's leave him out. Next up. We got one of our ladies. So I did like Lee May when she uh, debuted in Mortal Kombat Daily Alliance. We haven't seen her much since. Haven't really seen her much since. She has been shown in uh, one of the later Mortal Kombat games. I'm not sure which one it was. And she looked a lot older. But uh, we're starting over the series at this point. So this depends on where we actually end up after this timeline being reset. They could bring her character back. Make her look younger like she does here. You know, like an actual fighter. And I think it'd be fine. So I wouldn't mind seeing Lee Mei come back in this game as one of the, um, not main, but one of the, you know, one of the play around characters. So I'm going to, I'm going to um, keep it in here for Lee Mei. Let's go ahead and bring Lee Mei to Mortal Kombat 12. Why not? Next up, we got another character with potential that I feel like hasn't been tapped yet. So this guy could be a great character. Mavado. He has a great design. Even for back then, if we look at it again, if we look at him right now with updated graphics, his character model would look great. And if you're thinking about bringing back the Red Dragon Clan, I think Mavado, uh, he would be good to lead that. So, yes, I think Mavado should come back. His playstyle definitely needs work, which is not a problem because, again, 
Nether Realm Studios is better than they ever have been when it comes to that. And the character model always looks great. So all we got to do is get a modern day version of this character model. And I think Movado could be a great player. So let's get Movado back in Mortal Kombat 12. Next up, we have Moloch. Don't bring Moloch back. Next up, we have Nitara. Nitara. She was fine back then. I ain't gonna lie. I was a young, 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 uh, young whippersnapper playing, and I was like, that vampire girl kind of fine. But you know, that's not what it's about these days. We gotta be progressive and stay woke. Natara is a great character. Think about it. She's a vampire lady, or is she a bat? I mean, great character model, even for back then. So yeah, I would love to see how Natara plays in Mortal Kombat 12. I'd like to see what they do with her character design and all of that. She was in the Mortal Kombat movie that recently came out. So, you know, there's some love for the character. She definitely has room to be in Mortal Kombat. Again, in one of the better 3D characters, I would say. So yes, I think Natara should be brought back in Mortal Kombat 12. Next up, we got a big boss in Onaga. Onaga is one of the better characters, boss or not, introduced in the 3D era. Um, like I said before, you got the Shao Kahn's, you got the Shang Tsung's, you got all of the big bosses from the Mortal Kombat past, the Goro's, Kentaro, uh, what's the horse guy's name? What's the ho Motaro? I mean, I think Onaga fits right in there with them. A great boss character if you remember the beginning of Mortal Kombat Deception like when he came out when um, Raiden Quan Chi Shang Tsung when they were all fighting and he walked in that building and they all just looked at each other like uh oh we got a problem and then they all turned their attention to Onaga and tried to attack him just a great character and they built him up the right way for us to make him to make them feel to make Onaga feel like a threat so I wouldn't mind seeing Onaga back I don't want to see him as a playable character though I like when boss characters are specific to boss characters like Chronica was. So yeah, wouldn't mind seeing Onaga back. I don't know in what form, maybe just in the story, but I don't want to see him in Mortal Kombat 12, most definitely. Next up, we get back to the bad characters, Raiko, a Shao Kahn underling. He actually has a pretty good design here, but it's still boring. Maybe it'd be better if they did something with his head. Because his face just doesn't really look up to par. You know, I'll go either way on Raiko, actually. Just based off of his design. And if they want to put Shao Kahn in there with an underling. I think it'd actually be pretty cool. When I was putting this together, I was saying no on Raiko up front. But why not? Let's see what they can do with Raiko in Mortal Kombat 12. Bring him back. Next up, we have Serena. Okay. Yeah. Bring Serena back to Mortal Kombat 12. Great design here. Kind of like the um, gray hair with Sindel. You know, but hers is black and gray, so that works. So yeah, of course, this is not uh, an actual, this is somebody made this, but I mean, I think that looks like a good design for Serena. So yeah, why not? I don't think we know enough about Serena. So I'd say let's bring her to Mortal Kombat 12 because we do need some more female blood in there as well. So I think um, Serena will work. Shujinko. This has to be the stupidest character in Mortal Kombat history. This guy lived his life from day one up until he was old to get tricked <laughs> by some of them fools. Every time I look at Shujinko, I just think of an idiot. I just think he's an idiot. The guy's an idiot. We'll be doing a, I'll be doing a Mortal Kombat Deception um, Conquest mode playthrough here soon just so we can relive the the idi idiocrity, if that's a word, of uh, Shujinko. We don't ever see, need to see Shujinko back again. Next up, we have Tanya. Tanya has made appearances back in Mortal Kombat since Mortal Kombat 4. Nothing really groundbreaking, though. 
I believe she was in Mortal Kombat X. I think we need a new design for Tanya. I think we should see Tanya back, but she needs a new design. With them being so good at their character creation uh, these days, I know they can do it. I just don't like her current design. I don't know if it's the face. I don't know if it's the, um, the outfit, but it just doesn't work for me. Like, I like Jade's. I like Melina's. I like Katana's. But hers is just different, which there's no nothing wrong with being different, but it's not really a fan of her design. So, yes, I do want to see Tanya back in Mortal Kombat 12, but I hope they figure it out. Hope they figure out how to make the character look um, more appealing. Just give us something better. Again, it's always good, but just the designs these days look great. So I think we got to get her to the point where she looks great. And last but not least, maybe least, I don't know, we have Taven. Taven, 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 Taven. Now, Taven is supposed to be half God, half man, but another half brother of Rain. And he got a big part in Mortal Kombat Armageddon. But look at his design doesn't look special at all he, he looks like cole like cole from the um last mortal kombat movie just a basic dude like why are you the main character what makes you stand out from everybody else and i don't like it i don't like his design i don't think he's an interesting character play style or anything his story is fine i mean he's half god half man yes where can we go with that we didn't go to a good place same with him and his brother it, it's just the characters aren't good so yeah we don't need to spend any more time on taven we don't need taven in mortal kombat 12 let's keep taven out of our mortal kombat games we can forget he ever happened so that ends the presentation a lot of these characters were not brought back to mortal kombat and a lot of them weren't brought back for good reason. Every time I make these videos, somebody gets upset because their favorite character didn't make my list. But that's fine, because I'm not making the game. Just hop in the comment section, let me know what character I missed or which character you want in the game that I said should not be in the game. We can have a conversation about it, and maybe you can make me appreciate that character more. Because I want to appreciate every Mortal Kombat character. But thank you guys again for tuning into this video. Make sure you like it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, check out some of these other videos, and never Never forget, dreams happen when you're asleep. Hope happens when you dream while you're awake.